Hey, welcome back to our channel. While we're here looking at these gorgeous cars, we couldn't help but notice this exquisite 1969 Hornet RT convertible, 426 Hemi, four speed. This has a WISE validation report. We looked at this car probably close to five years ago, and we're looking at it again today. Rim charger hood. And certainly on Hemis that have power brake boosters, which you would see on a Ram charger hood. On this side, there would be a recess. Provisions to clear the master cylinder. This particular car has manual brakes, so it uses the standard, the standard Ram charger box. Right there you can see the VIN number. Next to the VIN number you can see the dial out stamp number. Trim tag's been removed because it's in storage. Don't want to take a chance of it disappearing. There is the VIN number. It's stamped. This one, you know, like, like you typically see in this model year, would be a WT. The actual manufacturing information is going to be just below the starter on the oil pan rail. Very well restored vehicle, extremely rare vehicle. Typical convertible configuration on the V-pillar. And of course you have the mating detail on the door. Very well restored. Take another quick walk around it. Side scoops.
thanks for tuning into my channel for more content of this nature reach out to us let us know what you would like to see and we will definitely share our experiences with you There's one detail I want to point out. If you look at the alternator, anytime you typically see that hole right there where that mating fastener is, that's a sign that it's been through a rebuilder. Often what happens, that fastener is froze up, so they end up having to countersink a hole in order to separate out the two halves. Um, this is where you need to reach out to Jim Ridge from Dixie Restorations. He can certainly assist you with the restoration, the proper restoration of your alternator and starter. And unless you give Jim something like that, I can guarantee you that that Jim Ridge does not do that to his alternators. They are professionals, and I'm sure you've seen the video. If you haven't, you should go back into our archives and look at the video of Jim Ridge's alternators. It's well worth looking at.